I'm just going to show you this wacky uh, sequence here. Um, what I do is I use the C blue scale, or C minor pentatonic with the added blue note. So I have my first position minor pentatonic slash blue scale here in the eighth fret. Uh, standard tuning, and then I use the uh, C diminished arpeggio <laughs> uh, as uh, superimposed on top of it, which makes me emphasize if I play the arpeggio uh, from the top here, I got the, the pentatonic notes, but also the diminished notes of the E and the E flat on the high E string. Then I have the sixth of E, which is a Dorian note, but also a uh, diminished note. And that's such a nice thing. Such a nice note to add to the blues scale. Um, when I play the diminished arpeggio, which is these three notes, I put an emphasis to that, right? To that note. But then the next note is the blue note, diminished arpeggio note. But the blue note, right? And then down to the. Uh, so I got the the 8th and 11th fret on the high E string, the 10th fret on the B string, then 11 and 8 on the G string. And already right here we got some nice tools because now I got my blue scale, but I got my uh, uh, diminished arpeggio as well. Right? So I, I can expand my blues sound to make it sound uh, uh, crazy. <laughs> so that's the arpeggio there. Then I go for the 10th fret on the G string. And then I have the 12th and the 9th fret on the A string. All right? And I'm going to... And then what you can do here, just to get it back into the blues scale, you can slide that down that uh, first finger uh, on the A string from the uh, ninth to the eighth fret, and then you're down into the pentatonic or the blue scale again. All right. All right. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the ninth here. I'm going to put some notes to that diminished arpeggio. All right. I'm going to play a, a specific sequence that we played in the previous video. So here, up here, I'm going to add the ninth to that structure, and I can just create my own fretboard shapes that I can play around with in any position that fits what I like to play and the sounds I like to hear. So now I'm going to build one on the blue scale and the diminished arpeggio, and then add some notes from the Dorian uh, scale as well, the Dorian minor. So what I'm going to do here is I have the notes in the 8th, the 10th, uh, and the 11th fret on the high E strings. So I got my normal pentatonic notes or diminished notes, if you will, and then the 9th, right? Then I have my lonely note in the 9th uh, fret on the B string. And then I have the blue note, which is a diminished note as well, a normal pentatonic note in the 10th fret on the G string, and then the 8th fret on the G string, which is also just a blue scale slash pentatonic note, All right? So I got the this shape up here, and that shape, exact same shape on the G string, and then that lonely note in the 10th fret. Then I hit the 10th fret on the G string, I'm not going to do anything about that note, but then I get to my two diminished notes in the 12th and the 9th fret on the A string. I'm going to add the pentatonic note to get three uh, notes on this string as well. All right? All right, so now I got a really cool scale. I, if I want to amp up my, my blues scale. And if I play that scale or that shape, it will make me put an emphasis to the diminished notes, which is the six uh, and the blue note in the, in, the, um, in the blues scale, you could say, or the Dorian minor, right? And then I'm adding the ninth as well. Right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play my sequence of going... Right. Right. Just to get me started, because I can do a lot with this, I can improvise with it, right? But let's look at the sequence. So first, I'm, now we know that we're in this weird combination of, of blues and, and diminished. We know what we're doing. 
blue scale in the bottom, superimpose the diminished on top, and then adding some notes to that diminished structure. So we have three, one, three, one, three uh, number of notes on the strings, right? So we can play a sequence now because the number of notes on the strings are consistent. It's a pattern, then we can use a consistent pattern of notes to play on top of it, right? So I'm going to pick the note, which is the blue note, and also the diminished note in the ninth fret on the A string first. Then I'm going to hammer on to the 10th and to the 12th and pull off again down to the 10th and down to the 9th, right? Then I'm going to hammer on to the 12th fret. And that's the, the basic sequence, you could say. And the body has an enormous uh, capacity for playing that little sequence <laughs> at an incredible uh, level of speed. Uh, because the, the body likes this wavy movement, it's very good at that. It's not so good at playing first the third finger, then the fourth, and then the second finger, and then the first. That's complexity. This is not... You can get that up to a lot of speed. And then, once I've done this, I'm going to hit the new sweep picking, hit the 10th fret with a downstroke on the D string. Then I'm going to hit the... Um, that's all, right? I'm going to hit the 8th fret on the G string and hammer on to the... Again, with the downstroke. So we got that little sweep there. All right, then I'm hammering on to 10th, hammering on to 11th, and pulling off again down to 10th, and pulling off again down to the, the 8th fret, and then hammering on to the 11th. All right, so basically what I have now is... And then I play this note in the 10th fret on the G string in between, and then I start the sequence again with different notes on a different string, with a downstroke, pick downstroke again, so I got that sweep. Then I'm going to hit the next note in my little pattern here, in the 10th fret on the B string, with a downstroke, and then with a downstroke in the 8th fret on the high E string, and then do my sequence in the 8th, 10th, and 11th fret. But since I, I, could, I could go... Right, so I went... Right? But since I'm turning around, I'm just gonna go... Right? And then I'm going to hit the 10th fret on the B string with an upstroke. Then the 11th fret on the G string, pull off down to the 8th, and then hammer on 10, 11, 10, and 8 again. It sounds like this. And then... Right? On the way down, it's slightly different. So I go... I'm going to do that again, hit the 10th fret on the G string, up stroke, up stroke in the 12th fret, and then... All right, now I'm turning around again, so all I'm going to do after I did that is hit the 12th fret with my pinky and then continue. So the whole thing slowly, or semi-slowly, and then slowly. So my, my hand, once I pick the first note, it just goes but da, but da, but da, but da. You know, sweet picking motions, and the rest is, is just legato, but of the kindest kind, right? Where you can do wavy movements with your fingers, and that's the, the easiest thing for your body to do. So you got a really powerful sequence if you want to have some fast runs in your playing. Um, Right? And then you can play around with integrating that into your playing. We can also do some, some just to give you some ideas, I'm not going to tap these out, but just look at what you can do. You could also go... All right, so hit that note. All right, so do some string skipping action. And then back into the blue scale, right?